Hey everyone, Summer here with the Starry Sen, and it is our weekly creative reading. I do this reading every single week. I missed last week because I was sick. Um, on the plus side, you know, at least I made it to this one. Uh, I do this every single Sunday, and it is mostly for creative art and putting ourselves out there creatively. I'm going to show you how to put the cards into effect with your artistry. Now, normally I would have stuff that I had done from the previous Sunday's art card reading, but uh, because I didn't do it last week, I really didn't have much, but I didn't make things. So I will show you what I made. I have a dragon that I'm hoping to sell in an online market on in, uh, at the end of the month. Her name is Fira. Isn't she adorable? I like her glitter. She's about four inches tall. And then I made me some love bugs. I make them every single February. And I only make them one time a year. And this year, I turned my back for two minutes, guys. Two minutes. And they got into my glitter. My glitter paint. <laughs> So there's glitter paint all over my love bugs because they got messy with it. Look at her. Isn't she cute? There's one. Here's the other one. I make about 20 of these little love bugs every February and they are only available in sale for sale in my Facebook group um, and it's coming up February 3rd. So I will leave the link to my Facebook group in the description for my art and uh, it's a VIP sale so only group members get to be in on the sale so if you want to join you can if not no big deal but these are my art pieces and then I made a mushroom top container inside is like some potpourri it doesn't smell really anymore but it looks pretty in the jar so I thought that was fantastic isn't it cute? I love it. I hand painted all of it and clayed it. So anyways, that's what I made. I'd love to know what you guys are making down in the description or down in the comments. Let me know what you've been up to art wise. Uh, we haven't talked in a couple of weeks on that front. <laughs> so I've already done some shuffling. We're going to pick two cards and then I will show you how to apply them to art for this coming week. And we'll see what happens next week, right? Okay, I know my voice is still a little squeaky from being sick, but on the plus side, it's pretty much all here. All right, let's pull this out. Two cards, I'll display them out in front of me. And then very, one card. And let's do that one more time. One more card for the week. Here we go. All right, first card for the week is the wheel. Isn't that interesting? This is actually my card for the year. And the tower. Wow, major arcana both times, guys. We're out of the wands, apparently. <laughs> so, all right. So, now I know that usually uh, in, in, in the readings and stuff like that, we, we talk about, uh, like what the cards mean and everything else, but it's major arcana. So it probably means that some major stuff is going on with our artistry, some major stuff, maybe internally in our minds, in our creative lines of thinking or our creative, um, desires maybe even, or if you're running a business, then, uh, maybe something major is happening with that. So we're going to start out with the wheel. Now, the wheel is a motion card. I look at it as a motion card. It could be a standstill, it could be a forward motion, it could be a backwards motion, it could be a crushed motion. Um, I look at it as a positive card. I like how positive it looks to me. Um, and she's juggling, like in a wheel fashion, but she's kind of juggling the moons, which is interesting because I'm very moon orientated, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this card right here. All right, I want you to look at the colors. There's blues, purples, almost like fire colors right down in here in her uh, like top. And then, then we've got some 
other colors down in here, the purples right here, the reds, whites, all right? We got swirls going on in this card. We have polka dots going on up here in the corners. We got the circles, the moon functions, of course. We've got what's in our hair. Oh, these are trees, guys. Look at those trees. So it looks like it's for each season, which is interesting, right? So we have winter, fall, spring, and summer somewhere in here. I'm not sure which one would be which. I wonder what you guys think about that. Um, and then design-wise, look at these triangles. They're almost like flower petals. Look at that. I just love it. And then you have the zodiac symbols down here. So zodiac symbols could be something that's in your art. There's birds, wings. What else we got going on here? We got some feet stuff going on. Lots of polka dots, lots of circles. This could even be almost like a flower or like a, a flower petal of some kind. But wheel is also completion, which means that if you really want to, you can complete your tasks this, this week, okay? I really feel you can do that. And if you're a crocheter, these are all sorts of, you could add birds to your pieces. If you are doing drawing, you can add the trees or the moon. If you're doing clay, trees, moon, birds. Sculpting is wide open, so is drawing. Uh, if you're doing writing in poetry or in short story form or something, maybe you need somebody who's juggling a lot of different things. Maybe that somebody's juggling the seasons. Maybe you have a magic person. Uh, maybe you need some birds that are some interesting characters. You know, those kinds of things. All right, now let's take a look at the tower. The tower is an upheaval. It generally means that something bad has to happen in order for something good to come out of it if you choose to have that happen and maybe the upheaval is just that you need to complete things you need to get them completed I think that might be what it is is that you need to get your stuff completed so that you can move on to other things okay and if you don't well maybe that upheaval is going to be there but I also don't see this as a bad card I mean look at these butterflies they're helping her stay afloat right so as far as the tower card goes, look at the blues. Look at the blanket patterns in here. You got butterflies. Uh, we have some kind of monster going on right up in here. We got some, some the actual tower itself can be an art project, you know. Uh, Pringles cans and altered art. I mean, I've seen some people do some stuff with some Pringle cans. Look that up on Pinterest. That's pretty cool stuff. You know, and then there's the female. So anything feminine would probably work in your art. If you're writing poetry or you're writing a short story, maybe you have a female who is falling for something. Um, maybe she's falling for somebody bad or maybe she's doing something bad for herself. Um, butterflies, crochet butterflies, those are great. Draw butterflies, you can add butterflies. So what do we got? We got some trees and some butterflies. So there's some nature going on in here. Uh, there's the tower, which we can use. There's the people, which we can use. Birds, butterflies, greens, blues, purples, yellows, oranges, reds, trees, moons. This, there's a lot to go from here. So pick one thing. Pick one thing and tell me in the comments which one thing you want to use this week, all right? And I look forward to hearing more about your art. So you guys have a very creative week and I will see you with another reading next Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button for me.